for 2018 gooseberries gardening report so these are gooseberries look at this they uh, so it's probably another two months before these are ready so i'm gonna be able to eat gooseberries all the way through the winter for sure so they've grown like crazy okay so the weather has been unseasonably warm and so they've been growing like crazy um, these are over six feet tall. I'm five eight, so mm, so you can see this. So it's supposed to be bushes, but these grow like crazy. Oh, wow, I use the word crazy a lot, don't I? Anyway, so this is what they look like close up. These are gooseberries, native to the Andes. Sometimes they're called pichu berries, golden berries, gooseberry, Cape gooseberry, ground cherry. Um, related to the tomatillas and tomatoes of um, Mexico. Um, there's a lot of gooseberries around the world um, from South Africa to China, but a lot of them are not related to each other and even are not edible. But these are edible. And they love this weather here. Uh, in recent days, I got in this infestation of um, aphids out of nowhere. As you can see, lots of aphids, right? Uh, in the past, a little bit of aphids, not so bad, and I could take care of them with neem oil, which I mix myself. Neem oil and uh, light or um, not harsh, um, non-chemical uh, dish uh, detergent, dishwashing detergent. But now, I have to use uh, essential oils and a mixture of cooking canola oil to take care of them. This just is in the past couple of weeks. So you can see this is they grow so much uh, more than I had anticipated. And this is like this whole area here is only four plants. Okay. Very bushy. And lots of fruit and lots of berries here. They 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 grow out in husk. And when they ready um, basically the husk turn white um, translucent you can see and you simply let me see like I'm looking for a ready to eat of the bushes uh, I don't see okay yeah like this they become dry like this so this is ready to be eaten so let's see up close Oh, I just smoosh it. Like this. Um, tastes like a cross between pineapple and strawberries. Tart, sweet. Um, Sometimes a little, has a bitter aftertaste. They also fall off the bushes and you simply pick them up. Like this one here. See this? Yummy, and other gooseberries. A lot of goose. Oh, there's a lot of bread to eat here. You can see there? Oh, wow, there's a lot ready. Happy gardening. Well, at least this is one heck of a happy garden now. So I've been eating gooseberries nearly uh, every day. For the past two years extremely easy to grow and low maintenance with the exception of the aphids and occasionally the raccoons come around and eat them rats too but not birds and uh, hardly any of the pests there you go gooseberries ah, look at that so this is gonna carry me all the way through the winter for sure Okay, happy fall.